Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do the judicial adjustment on a broken POS TV. This is your integrated circuit uh, TV set. Uh, back in the olden days, there were tubes and things that a TV repairman could adjust. But nowadays, if something goes wrong with your TV, it's not worth it uh, as far as the expense of having a repairman do it. He's going to charge you, what, 100, 100 bucks, and you can go and buy this TV at Walmart for 100 bucks. So, first thing you do is, is try to turn it on. And this one, the little red light turns on, and then it blinks off. And so, um, the little red light turns on. So, the first thing you actually want to do is check, make sure you got power. So, it, it would be silly to try to fix your TV if it wasn't broken. Well, this is definitely broken. And so, I have to determine what's the cost of repair. I don't think anybody can fix this, really. Um, and uh, so what's the cost of repair versus uh, the cost of replacing it and probably it would be a better value if I was going to put money into this is to replace it. Okay, once you've actually determined that it is broken and it's just a big paperweight um, then you're going to take a chance to make the judicial adjustment. And how you do that is you put it down on the solid surface like the floor and I put a, a uh, towel here, so it's a little bit softer. Okay. Often, what goes wrong in, in in a POS TV like this is it's put together at the at the Korean factory with robots, and they're welding, they're uh, soldering all the electronic components together. The components themselves are probably not going to fail, solid state components, but the the solders may come loose, and that's often what will will do in a little TV like this. So the idea is kind of like. Um, Gilligan, when he gets hit on the head with the coconut and loses his memory, he has to get hit on the head with the coconut again to get it back. So the judicious uh, adjustment for a TV like this would be to smack it really hard on one side. Have it plugged in, smack it really hard, and then try to turn it on. If that doesn't work, you smack it, bam, really hard on the other side. And, uh, bam and then try to turn it on, see if it works. And then lastly, you would actually pick it up, and that's why I have something soft here on the ground, um, so it doesn't like crack the plastic, and you would actually pick it up and drop it from about two inches, four inches, eight inches, you would just drop it. Um, the theory being, if it's broken, you can't break it even more. And then I would even, like, drop it, I don't know, 18 inches. Like, pick it up like that high. Oh, bam! And drop it. Okay, so I'm going to try the judicious adjustment. And if it works, that's good. If it doesn't work, uh, it's a piece of junk anyway. And you're probably not going to be watching this video. So here goes. Okay, so the TV is now working as good as it ever did. Um, it still has, like, I've had this for many years. It still has, like, jelly and chocolate and stuff when the kids were little. Um, it was uh, dead. It was not working. And now it's working perfect, and I probably will have it for a couple more years. One more thing. Um, if it remained dead, what I would have probably done is brought it into the backyard and shot it with a BB gun because TVs are meant to entertain. And if it was actually completely dead and hopeless... Uh, might as well get a little bit of entertainment value out of it that way. Uh, if you have a bigger TV, uh, you might need two people to do the adjustment, um, especially if you're picking it up and dropping it. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, okay, well, uh, that's the judicious adjustment uh, of a television set. It works with uh, radios, microwaves, I don't know, maybe even your washer and dryer. Uh, I don't know about a car. 
But uh, remember, if it's broken and it costs too much to fix it, try the judicious adjustment before you throw the thing away. Okay, good luck with your project.